God bless you. Um, I'll take one other minute. It's a, it's was Bishop alluded to earlier. Um, it is more than a blessing to be able to stand before you today. Um, God placed me at Sony Pictures. Early in my career, I started in the movie business about 10 years ago, and I was an assistant, and I was trying to make the leap from assistant to executive. And I didn't know Bishop Jakes, but I have always followed his word. And so in Los Angeles, where I live, I went to hear him preach in Inglewood. It, I got there so late, I was sitting in the rafters, and <laughs> there he was preaching this word called turn the page. At the end of Deuteronomy, Moses has died. But when you turn the page, God told the Israelites, get up, your morning time is over, go and get into the promised land. I took that word and on Monday, I put in my two weeks notice on my job because he motivated me to turn the page from my old job to the new job. And someone looked at me like I was crazy and said, man, do you have a new job? I said, no. I said, but how can I tell you about faith if I'm not living it? Amen. After the two-week notice, I ended up fasting that second week of the two week. I fasted all week. I prayed that God would give me a job before the end of the two weeks. But I ended up leaving that Friday unemployed. Come Monday, I get a call from Tracy Edmonds. Devon, we want to hire you to be an executive at the company. Tracy Edmonds is also a producer on Jumping the Broom. Get this, I just give me two more seconds, Bishop. Give me two more seconds. <laughs> Watch this. So I go work for Tracy Edmonds. I end up getting a call out of the blue that MGM is looking for an executive. I leave Tracy Edmonds to go work for MGM. Six months into being at MGM, they start selling the company. And I said, God, what are you up to? Why would you have me leave one job and then I go to another job that's getting ready to give me the pink slip? Ultimately, MGM gets sold to Sony. <laughs> the chairman sends me a message through another senior executive. Devon, when the deal goes through, you will have a job at Sony. You won't have to worry. Watch this. Watch this. When I get to Sony, the same year I walk through the doors at Sony, Michael Linton, the chairman of Sony, is making a deal with Bishop Jakes to make films. There is nobody in the world, and I say this without fear of successful uh, um, uh, uh, dispute, there's nobody else in the world better suited to make films with Bishop Jakes than me. So God sent me to Sony so that we could do this ministry together and we can change the world and change Hollywood in the images that you see on the screen. Jumping the Broom is our second movie together, yeah. and we got two others cooking. Yeah. One of the reasons I'm also excited about being here today is because I wouldn't be here, as you can tell, without my faith. And I am tired of seeing people put down their faith when they go into the job. Our faith is the way to our dreams, not an obstacle to them, from them, but it's our path to find the purpose God has created in us. I had to write this book called Produced by Faith as a manual to help all of us walk through our career by letting God guide us. I want you to think of your life as a movie, all right? It's one of the greatest stories ever being told. One of you right now is in a scene where you're ready to give up. You're in one scene where you're getting ready to write God's name off of your script. But just like when you saw Pursuit of Happiness, Chris Gardner was in the bathroom with his son. What if he gave up right then? In the next scene, he was getting in the job. In the next scene, you're getting ready to come out. Don't write your, God's name off your script. Wait until the next scene because you're getting ready to get the victory. I need you to get this message. I will be out there this afternoon signing books because we've got to get the message of produced by faith to the world. Thank you, Bishop. God Sorry bless to take you. so much time. No, 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 no. I, I, want to, I want to say something. I want to say something about this young man. Honestly, this is an incredible individual, an incredible individual who has had an amazing life who has held on to his integrity in Hollywood. Everybody knows he is a Christian. Everybody knows he loves Jesus. Everybody knows he's been washed in the blood. 
and he, he, he's produced uh, Pursuit of Happiness. He's in charge of all of Will Smith's movies. He's gone all over the world with Will Smith. He was in Japan. He's calling me from Japan, waking me up in the middle of the night and all this kind of stuff. And, and he is so highly respected and such a high-ranking executive, such a high ranking executive in the Sony regime, mm. it is amazing. Mm. And I, so I, I broke down and, and asked him, because I, you know, I, I didn't know, you know, in Hollywood they got all of those uh, doctors with the face lifts and stuff, and I, I thought, you know, maybe they did, maybe they had some work done, because normally to be in a position like that, it takes you years and years and years. I broke down and asked him how old he was, and he said he is 33. Three, just turned 33. 33 years, he just turned 33 years old. And he is the boss running all kinds of stuff. Let me tell you something, you are never too young to go after your dream. He went after it. At 23, at 33, he's sitting on top of the world. You're never too young, you're never too old. Go for your dream and get it produced by faith. And uh, he's single too. God bless you. Uh, take care. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Let the church say amen. Give it up for Devon Franklin. It's offering time in the sanctuary.